Today in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 on it and install Windows 7 on a USB bootable pen drive, and this is an old Samsung mini laptop. First insert the bootable pen drive into the laptop, then restart the laptop or turn off the laptop and turn on the laptop again. Make sure your computer is completely shut down before proceeding. Begin pressing the BIOS key. As soon as your computer begins to boot up, begin pressing rapidly the F2 or Dell key your computer uses to open the BIOS. You can stop pressing the key once the BIOS page opens. Find the boot order section. Using the left and right arrow keys, scroll through the BIOS tabs until you find a list of boot items. You may have to select boot order or similar, like boot device priority and press enter. To open the menu, select your flash drive's name like and move the flash drive to the top of the list. In most cases, you'll press the plus key and F6 and F5 key until the flash drive's name is at the top. Then press F10 key on your keyboard and save your BIOS settings and restart your computer if necessary. If your computer finishes starting into Windows, restart your computer before proceeding. This will open the Windows 7 installation page, from which point you can begin installing. Windows 7, select a language and region. Then click Next. It's in the bottom right corner of the window. Click Install Now. This option is at the top of the page. Select the operating system you want to install then accept the terms of use. Check the I accept box, then click Next. Click Custom, Advanced. It's at the bottom of the window. I will delete all the partitions, see how I will delete. After deleting the partition, create a new partition. For C drive, you should create a minimum partition table of 70 GB. Create the next partition drives in this way. Select a partition. Click the partition, e.g. 0, on which you want to install Windows 7 if you see an error that says Windows cannot be installed to partition. Click the Disk Options link, click Format, and click OK when prompted before proceeding. This will erase the partition. Click Next. It's in the bottom right corner of the window. Windows 7 will begin installing. Allow Windows 7 to install. This can take a long time, so make sure your computer is well ventilated and charged. Once the setup Windows window opens, you may proceed. Your computer will restart several times during this process. Enter a username and computer name when asked and click Next. Create a password. Type your preferred password into the top two text fields, then click Next. Your password must match in both text fields for this to work. Enter your Windows 7 product key. Type your 25-character product key into the text field in the middle of the window, then click Next. Also you skip. Select a time zone. If the time zone is incorrect, click the drop-down box at the top of the window and click the proper time zone. Click Next to finish the setup. Wait for Windows 7 to finish setting up. Once Windows 7 is finished setting up your account, the desktop will open, and you'll be able to begin using Windows 7 as you please. Make sure you remove the USB flash drive from your computer so that your computer doesn't start into the Windows 7 setup menu the next time you restart. You might want to reopen the BIOS and move back down the USB flash drive's name in the boot order menu. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.